Hi, my name is Andre and today I show you how to work with extendable save system. But first I want to say sorry about my bad English. I'm working on it, really. The idea is pretty simple. We have three entities, save master, I saveable component, component data. Let's see how it works. To save game you need to call the save method in save master. Inside this method, searches all components that implement iSaveable component interface. Then called the method serialize for all founded components. Then data save into a file. Then occurs the reverse process. To load the game you need to call the load method in save master. Inside this method, data loads from a file then search all components that implement iSaveable component interface. Then call the method desrealize for all founded components. Now I will show you source code with my comments to clearly describe the work of components. Ok, let's go to examples. Let's say we need to save position, rotation, and scale of objects. Create transform saver class. Implement iSaveable component interface. Implement the saving of position. Implement the loading of position. Set random unique ID in editor. Let's see how it works. In the same way, we can implement rotation and scale saving. It's the easiest way, but not the most effective. Let's try to extend our system. Create a new class and call it extended component data. Inherit this class from component data. Create new methods for saving and loading vectors. Now, rewriting the transform saver class. Check how it works.
This is a good solution, but we can go further. Let's create new methods for saving and loading transform. Rewriting the transform saver class and check. Now it works great. It's one of the ways to use the system. I hope I managed to explain to you how to work with this system. If you have any questions you can contact me via email. All source code soon will be available in asset store for free. All links in the description. It's all that I wanted to say, have a nice day.